such a wonderful place What a shame we can't stay This exhausting chase is now over Such a beautiful Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Chester will be none too chatty with his gun sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's a secretary of war, not the secretary of bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Let's give it a try. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving! Ugh. You smell that?
1857, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. All dead. Fuck. See, next man will have to be your last. No worries, man. But you put a cap off his, so I'm not sure. Boy, you better make all this worth our time, Chester. Money. Stopping at six nine, I see. Oh, because you want the batch to stay at to stay at sixty nine months. Oh, okay. okay. Playing some uh, Evil West. Mostly watching World Cup. Saw England trash uh, Iran yesterday. But you're probably not interested in it. Right? Yesterday I led in England to, to the World Cup. In FIFA, I mean, FIFA World Cup at, uh, update. Press left click to avoid dodging to close the gap to enemy attack immediately. Oh snap, it's magic fun shape. How's it going? Oh you in the pub? Oh you pick a great time to go to the pub. You, do you do you enjoy it? You finally get to watch football. Is everyone cheering like crazy? Story in Pokemon Violet. Oh you're going to Oh wow, you're going to US? In a few days time is it? Lovely, you're going to Chicago, wow. I'm sure it's a... I'm sure you can find some uh, British... British friends in US. People cheering about you in a room? Oh that's insane man. They are supporting England, is it? Oh wow wow, okay. Enjoy man. Is it a solo trip? What? Since when? Wow, enjoy your time man. Where else are you going? In in, in US? Sounds like a great match to watch. Huh? When I was in US, it was it was World Cup uh World Cup uh eight years ago is one. World Cup twenty sixteen. Is it 2016? No, maybe it's even older. I watched the the final, I think. Uh, Spain? Is it Spain? Eh, not Spain. Is it Spain? Some someone versus Netherlands. Is it Brazil? I cannot recall. Really. Check. This woke up 2014. No, it's not, is it? No, I cannot record it. Oh, okay. Your cousins are already there. You have a cousin that lives in uh, Illinois, okay. Enjoy, man. How long are you staying there for? Nice, 
this. Happy birthday in advance. I'll give you some pennies. So you'll be celebrating uh, your birthday in the US. Yeah. Good idea. Actually, I don't know how, how old are you actually. But definitely younger than me. You're, you're, you're releasing your remaining remaining life overs. I'll take them all. Uh. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Is it 10? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I got it right. Nice. I nailed it, man. <laughs> I got 30 cannons. It skills with your age. And I, I was. Right, that's the Finish Pokemon. Uh, maybe maybe on Switch Pro. I'll run the game again on Switch Pro. Nice. What does that mean? You gonna work in Japan? It looks like things are back on track. Which one you get? Violet or Scarlet? <laughs> we'll have to finish. Uh. Maybe I'll, I'll run it sooner, yeah. Uh, on, on a better machine. Uh. Or I just have to play through that, that performance. Oh, I also got Violet. Nice. I just like Violet because I like purple, that's it. No other reason behind that.
don't know. Oh, they seem to be juggling the monster or something. Also under story to ram words on switch. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's good enough to to uh, got across the river somehow to uh, pull through, push through and get it done. This be a bad time for this thing to collapse. Still wondering if I should Is this on the controller or or keyboard and mouse. I can only play on keyboard and mouse. I thought there are eight, there's aim required. If there's no aim required, maybe I should, I should switch. You can do both, do your own things. I think they have a safety measure when that happens. Yeah, I heard, I heard the multiplayer is a good part of, about the game. Can you steal other people's shiny? Oh, that's horrible. So basically, you're just playing in someone's world for the multiplayer, but. It, will you trigger like like for someone if you trigger like a major cutscene will it happen to the other player? Uh, I see, I see, yeah. Major French say it's because of uh they want to release the game earlier, is it? To coincide with the trading card game. Maybe I'll wait for them to patch things first, and then I'll get back to it again. What's SV? What's SV? Achieve SV. Oh, Scarlet Violet. Okay. You can be sure no patch will happen anytime soon. Okay. Anyway, I I will get back to it soon. This bit is pretty low key anyway. Other than Fall Guys Season Three, there's nothing much other than that this week. And woke up, that's it. 
Next week there's World of Warcraft Dragonflight Front Mission First Remake. Is Front Mission First good? And the Callisto Protocol. Marvel's Midnight Sun. People blaming Nintendo are wrong. People blaming Brain Freak are wrong. It's TPC to blame, even if it's two thirds of the company are Brain Freak and Nintendo. Yeah. My soon is trademark. Great, more ticks. Pokemon won't be back for Kenny. We'll be back, we'll be back. Not to see know is perfect, but they definitely have their fair share of criticism up a bit too, but still. Okay, see you in a bit. Mush. I'll be back, I'll be back. I miss my uh, Fire Crocodile and Pikachu. Try your controller now, see whether it's better. For rapid fanning shots, provided one hand is skilled enough, this weapon doesn't require aiming and can reload automatically once the cylinder is empty. Hold RT for fanning and tap RT for single shots. Oh. 
This better will control them. Okay, let's dance. money. I can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk.
Let's get that son of a bitch! Your father's leech, I see. <laughs> Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. <laughs> that big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. <laughs> Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gatherer's in Belmontville! <laughs> Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> Have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making short fancy pants here. Doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here, too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it! Can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the blues?
family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. Opens the chest, so I was going to be similar as Kratos. Taking it. Oh, smells of ticks. Gathering must be close by. Spiders. Oh, I like spiders. I don't know where to put them. Fucking maze. Gotta be a way out though.
about right. Dime to Bono's here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Uh, I don't know man, is it today or tomorrow? Uh, where's the timer at? Where do you see the timer from? There's a timer, where's it at? Uh, I don't know man, I think best to check Twitter but I think it's tomorrow, I don't think it's today You check the Twitter and see what it says Usually now it's Wednesday is the Wednesday or Thursday is the time where they refresh, not Tuesday anymore. I heard the the Ultraman skin, uh, SpongeBob skin. What are, what a skin? This time it's underwater. So congrats on finishing our battle pass. How long it took you last time? I've seen my share of tech architecture, but that, that's something.
It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology, instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. If today, today law, if not, anyway, don't know man, I'll see how later, probably I'll start tomorrow. But there's this move that I want to learn on the controller, I cannot seem to perform on the controller. House. Yeah, it's called the Evil West. Okay, it's McCree. Yeah. No, I don't know about Hainu, no, no. This game has called too, by the way.
not enough. unique species brothers and sisters we are not bred we are not born we come to life when we accept the gift of change our powers are many and they have served us well the art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy but i am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress sooner or later Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. I'm gonna watch the uh, Argentina match later. It's uh, 6 p.m. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how?
perform 15 finishes. Okay. be the entrance. Looks even bigger up close. Well, let's crash their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive. But to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. Secrecy is lifted, we won't stand the chance. We might be more powerful, but they will crush us with their numbers. Listen to the voice of reason. There is a thin line between being a survivor and being a coward. First, for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peter Navano. Without the sheep, the wolves go hungry. Yes, but the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition. I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your bastard breed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Daval, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line 
to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We have to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... we... FORCE THEM TO! Could have brought a bigger knife. Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you going to do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed.
Oh, I'll be damned. That's a new way to spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Rolling, how's it going? I'll take that. together in the manor. Mr. Rantier? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Sir. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Hello, sir. Director Rentier spared no expense to approve those gauntlets. <laughs> oh, officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but the truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Veil of secrets. Long time no see, Mr. Rentier. First year cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Yeah, it looks a bit like the RE the uh, RE one mentioned. Heavy as hell.
Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Gravener's with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Agent Rentier, well, better late than never. It's gonna be a long day. Seen that priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot, <laughs> and that tick, he was scared stiff. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen his face when you walked in with that gauntlet. Just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and Father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it.
Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Rentier Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizu's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Thank <laughs> you. 
left the Harrow Zeppelin. Maybe I can string a rope somewhere. Looks like the pool you need to block first then then press down. Otherwise the you wouldn't it's quite hard to trigger it if you press both at the same time. Yes, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Hold on, pal. You're gonna be fine. You okay, Agent? Just hold on.
your ugly traps. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would have loved to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. Yes. Find my father.
is this? Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. You not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. That old wound. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. My wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there.
Finders keepers.
Lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Call Epsilon. <laughs> Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Fine. He 
He's the cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Renty, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Jesus, what a fucking dump. Did you see the size of that cockroach? Should have taken this meeting in the airship. Sorry, Dr. Father, sir. Uh, name's Hall. I'm a quartermaster. It's hard to see your father like this. We go way back. Wartime. Ian Graven uh, saved my ass from a Wisconsin banshee. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure to repay that debt. Waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, heard that already. Get that hurt.
think he is? The heir to the fucking crowd! According to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes... And DC agreed to that? I got your goddamn gilded invitation. I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. So again. Could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. Mm, we ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top Sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute Sanguisuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. Although I wish I didn't have genius. How's it going? into.
taking it. This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Terribly wrong is happening here. Oh, let's check this beauty out. Careful. Get the rocks ready! Get in place, assholes! Wait for my 
Signal ready. Dead end. Fucking great. Gotta find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom. That's mine. Gotta squeeze through. This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? Okay. that.
see him. Let's hope I'll find Bloom in one piece. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. thing Bloom was looking for. I'll be right back, I'll let
find the flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangrasuges like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Where the heck did it go? Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. That's tight. Stench. Seven out of ten, I think. Right now.
I mean, the combat is, 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 is fun, but I mean, it's not... If you play other better combat games out there, this is not the top tier, I mean, but it's there, I mean. It's not high, it's like super high in terms of production value. Yeah. I compare this to God of War, it's... Uh, God of War's uh, production value is much higher. <laughs> No, it's a good game, it's, but it's, it's it's not a, it's not the best game out there. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to try something. Hello? Is anyone there? <sighs> Bloom? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me, but who are <sighs> Whoa. You're Jesse Renier, eh, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, Excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. I mean, it depends on your definition of mag game. Mag game could be five for some people. Glad to see you in one piece, sir. Devil's Pass. I can see how it got its name. I mean, for me, I definitely not following the story. I'm just interested in the combat and see what other upgrades I can go for. I don't know why I cannot do the uh, the what is that the the finish up. Oh, is this the one? Is this the one? Too in such a hurry. Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... Uh... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Just hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they'll let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say... The man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moripass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. 
the Banno and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail... You and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. Sir? Senior Agent Hall ordered me to guard Director Rentier's room. He's safe here, sir. Rest assured, no police should be gathered. I hate to see him like this. So vulnerable. We could dish with the redemption. It's got a war, maybe. Let's see. It. March 1866. The war between the states might be over, but the larger war, the secret war, continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sanguizuja's vicious predations. Because of that, we must ramp up our efforts. Our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the Home Office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. Which one? The, the one on the right? Just let the punch. Life one is uh, for a shit over there. They're waiting for you in her lab. Good to see you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. Verge is working. A silence before a storm, for sure. You think we should be ready for some fireworks? <sighs> Where is it? Where the hell did I put it? Get out! Get out! Oh. Holy moly, it's you. But I mean, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Jesse. I... Just seeing how things are going. They're going, but they'll go even better if people stop interrupting me. Uh, no offense, Mr. Jesse, but I need some quiet time to concentrate if I'm going to get this done.
with the rentiers and that Harrow guy here, is Dr. Blackwell still calling the shots? I'm sure the government visited the manor often, but Mr. Harrow's not an agent, and I don't think he knows what he's doing. Harrow's operating out of fear. The manor security services were decimated, and Calico doesn't even have that level of defense. Not that it did the manor any damn good. Shit. The old ones were scary enough. <sighs> well, let's hope that uh, gauntlet of yours can help turn the tide. If we can get it running. More of a demotion than a promotion. <laughs> you must have been a real pain in the ass. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. Well, they're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is de Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions, or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is! Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts! Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. 
Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Sir, did you already find it? Some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave in. Many men were lost, Angus and Eastwood among them. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm going to take it for a test drive. Thanks. Yeah. Let's go see if look at the redemption tree. How's it going, boss?
to recharge between use. No, oh, it's not super sci-fi yet. So it's not it's not a thirty K or two thousand. Eighteen ninety Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Indian. What is that a picture of? Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's got to be another way down. there. Gotta get to that other switch.
money. I'll soon be returning home as the mine has been shut down. Agents of the Rentier Institute showed up and ordered everyone out. No one knows what they're doing down there, but there are strange things afoot. Today is my last day, and I am glad of it. There's something evil in the darkness of that mine, and I look forward to leaving it behind. Smash it. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... <sighs> of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing.
More money. Oh, that's tight. One down. Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here? Holy moly, it's cold. the second one. Should be it. It worked, Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? Finally. Uh, sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge.
better off using the mouse now. So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? Nah, you're still good for comic relief. I am? Ready to roll, sir? Oh, my God. 
How you holding up there, Verge? Uh, I'm fine. Baxter's team must have moved deeper down into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them. The glamour we found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa, but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any Sengwa shoes we previously encountered.
oh, I was looking to you to use this ability. I was wondering where, how come I lost it? I think I after the perk reset, I, I forgot the pump here. No wonder I couldn't use it. I found something worth the trip. A5. Smash it. Glamour we found there leads us. Closer, sir. You do that. Anyone seen some coils around here? No? Okay.
I am, as long as that big, ugly, fat thing is dead for good. I think I found the entrance, Mr. Jesse! Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's... More of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that... angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to... Well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. 
I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Mr. Rentier, there's an issue. I don't like this at all. The Rentiers might be the founders of the Institute, but Dr. Blackwell's the one in charge here. She asked why she can't visit your father, but Agent Hall said it's your call. I hope Dr. Blackwell is not being relieved of her duties here. Heard you got the coils, sir. That's stupendous. We all need those upgrades. Of course, yours is the most important, but with enough coils... It'll take some time, but yeah, I think Virgil might be able to build a few more. He's more than able, sir. I can't wait to see what that thing can do. Mr. Rentier, there's some kind of havoc in the basement. the job. At least we now know how to break the glamours. The faster we break them, the stronger they make them. It's a fucking arms race, Jackson. Too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. I can't thank you enough for your help, sir. Ticks in the basement, Bloom, are you out of your mind? Sorry, sir. It, it was only for research purposes, but it got out of hand. Won't happen again, sir. I promise. 
Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you upstairs. I don't know, Amelia. It felt kind of right to be out there, working side by side. Oh, you should have seen us. Yeah, it's a boy thing. I get it. You know, one time I wanted to be an actress. But now we're adults. And it's time to grow up and do what we do best. Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure if Mr. Jesse was all that happy about babysitting me anyway. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. Were they well preserved? Well preserved? Those big spiky teeth came right up behind Mr. Jesse. Thought it was gonna eat him alive. I took a heavy coil of rope and lassoed its monstrous horn, breaking it right off. <laughs> um, birds, the Piazza doesn't have horns. Uh, no? No. Anatomically, it's a bird. Horns are typical for odd toed ungulates. So, from a biological point of view, there's no way it could even grow one. Uh, well, anyway, it was tough. Tough as hell. Likely the reason you like blowing things up, Verge. Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small-town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. A conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own, then. 
Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. Alright, I think I'll stop here. Seems like a good checkpoint. Anyway, yeah, uh, see you all later probably, uh, if not tomorrow. Uh, I think if I'm back later, it will probably be around maybe nice. Uh, thanks again, uh, Mush, for the 68 months peace up as well. Have a good one, bye bye.